Hello and good evening. This is the Daily News podcast. I'm Navya Singh and here are the most important news that deserve your attention today. Let's get started. The Indian Army has amended the rules of engagement along the line of actual control with China, empowering field commanders to allow the use of firearms under extraordinary circumstances. Now, under the previous rules of engagement based on the agreements signed in 1996 and 2005, neither side could open fire on the other. The two countries had also agreed not to use explosives or firearms within 2 kilometers of either side of the LAC. Now, these changes come within a week after the violent clash broke out between the Indian and the Chinese troops on 15th of June in eastern Ladakh's Galwan Valley. After the violent face-off, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had said that the army has been given full freedom to tackle the on-ground situation. Petrol price on Monday was hiked by 33 paise per liter and diesel by 58 paise to take retail rates to a record high as oil companies increased prices for the 16th straight day in a row. Now petrol price in Delhi was hiked to 79.56 rupees per liter from an earlier 79.23 rupees. while diesel rates were increased to 78.55 rupees per liter from 78.27 rupees in 16 days petrol prices have been hiked by 8.3 rupees per liter and diesel by 9.46 rupees a record increase in rates of the fuel in any fortnight since pricing was deregulated in april 2002 An army jawan was killed after Pakistan opened fire and threw mortar shells during the ongoing ceasefire violations at the line of control in Rajouri district of Jammu and Kashmir on Monday. Havildar Deepak Karki was the fourth Indian army personnel to be killed in ceasefire violation along the LOC since June 14th. At least 28 COVID-19 patients succumbed within 48 hours of their admission at Agra's SN Medical College. Now this was revealed by an audit done by a UP government panel which has now sought a detailed report on it from the government hospital and the health authorities. The report will also include the feedback of the victims families. So far ladies and gentlemen Agra has witnessed maximum 75 COVID-19 deaths in UP followed by Meerut with 61 casualties. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has asked Prime Minister Narendra Modi to censor content on OTT streaming platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime claiming that they are to be blamed for a spike in violence and crime against women and children. In his letter to the Prime Minister Nitish Kumar also suggested an amendment to the Cinematography Act of 1952 which he said does not clarify or define public exhibition of films and whether certification is needed for private viewing he complained that people were being exposed to vulgar and objectionable content and that this had a serious impact on the minds of those who see such content that's all for today i'll be back with some more important news tomorrow till then stay safe stay logical